Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. you to Chef Marcello personally. If he's unhappy with you, I'll get the blame. I could get fired. Is that what you want? Okay. Dr. Lafayette speaking. Just so, I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying a coffee in the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Hmm, very well. Don't you worry, Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. I love it. 
this place. It's so quiet and sleepy. I just feel so safe. This is the town where the politician Marco Antonioni died. I thought it sounded familiar. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, huh? The place has history. Nah. Let's just sit here for a bit. It's nice. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Ah, this is gonna be another one of your stories, isn't it? Yeah, no, just, just hear me out, okay? This is nothing like last time. The other night, I was out walking Fidel, and I see this convoy of black trucks with the Ether logo. No. Oh, oh, come uh, on! I'm Seriously? Pain, actually, that's, oh, that's inconvenient. Oh, boy! Oh, boy, that's not good. Watch your shoes! Are you just trying to get attention? Just protecting their investment. They put a lot of dough into this project. Whatever the hell it is. These are golden boys. So Ether just went and installed a state-of-the-art field lab on his private property. Some people always get their way. So, what should we do later? I don't know. Go to the beach? You just want... Dr. Oscar Lafayette, here to see Mr. Caruso. Should just take a minute, no need to worry. We're the good guys, right? Thank you. Have a good one, sir. You're expected. Go right in. What's up, Doc? Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. May I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well... I only hope you are as good as they say. Don't worry. I am. Doctor Lafayette?
Doctor, good to see you. Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if needed. Best of luck. That is Silvio Caruso. The renowned Dr. Oscar Lafayette. Mr. Caruso, shall we begin? If you insist. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it? Obvious. I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella. Would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses. My anxiety. My social phobias. Not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all deeply rooted. Go on. I had a girlfriend, you know. In high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy. Bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did. For a short while, anyway. Then Mother decided that Emilio wasn't a good influence on me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. He was 20, roguish, rode a motorcycle. Mother, she, she had pictures taken, showed them to me on prom night. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What... What do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you. Shamed and belittled you. Made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, her last and loyal son, from ever leaving too. Stop it! I don't want to hear it. Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? How dare you? You couldn't breathe. She smothered you. So you smothered her. Is that how it happened? Yes! All right. I did it. I did it. Are you happy now? Is that supposed to be cathartic? Well, guess again. Doctor, back to the drawing board. I think we have made some excellent progress. Same time tomorrow? Good day, Mr. Caruso. That is Francesca DeSantis. Okay, let's see what you're doing. Two targets down. Now 
now destroy the virus. This field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Looking good today, Doctor. So this is where Ms. DeSantis keeps all the research data. She keeps this stuff pretty close to her chest. Why? We all signed an NDA the size of a boat. Yeah, well, there we go. Readings are good. Compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Processing. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Yes, also. Come on. Warning, temperature rising.
Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Ether security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even.